everybody Nancy here from Fancy Nancy Diamond Painting I have a uh, diamond painting unboxing for you let's see what we got this one arrived today and the uh, plastic is a little ripped and the back the box looks a little smooshed but what do I say? That's what the box is for. There we go. You can see it. It got kind of beat up today. Let's see what's inside and if it's okay. I feel bad for them when the, they come totally smashed. Because it's when they go and wrap it up so nice and neat. It's not their fault that things get smashed and bashed during shipping. Okay, here's the drills and there's the tool kit. Oh, I know what this one is. I go through phases with my diamond paintings and I'm in a watercolor phase because I just think they come out lovely in a diamond painting. There's a lot of watercolor images. So this one is a big um, seahorse colored with the watercolors. And it is a 35 by 45 full drill. What is it? What is it? Round. Full drill round. nice and here's the tool kit it's a white boat pink wax some bags a single pink pen and some tweezers there we go let me peel it up now for those of you who haven't been watching me when it's got the thick white paper like this don't be afraid to peel it, but if you notice, I don't peel it all the way off. And what that does is it kind of releases the canvas and allows it to lay flat instead of being rolled up. Just be very gentle and uh, slow and careful works the best. Otherwise, you can rip the paper, which if you do, just lay it back down again. There you go. Now, the, you don't want to leave it open like this. Here, I'm just doing this so you can see the image. There's the seahorse. He looks fancy. Um, if you leave it exposed, then you could get glue or fuzz or dust or dog hair in the adhesive and that will make it not stick anymore. So just be careful. And uh, now in this case, I'm pulling on the paper and the glue was coming with it. So I put it back down and I gently rub it and that will press the glue back against the canvas oh, is not cooperating so no big deal I'll just start in a different corner I really wants to peel up <coughs> oh maybe he heard my neighbor and has decided to yell at them there we go so I peel up all four corners and then I very carefully press it down A lot of people say this works best on a hard surface. I have a tiny little apartment. Um, I don't have a hard surface I can use. So I just used my bed. It's fine. It's not the end of the world. Um, when I'm done, I put this on the pile of all my diamond paintings. And uh, the weight of the other diamond paintings on top of it. Uh, do a great job of pressing out all of the little wrinkles. 
So again, 35 by 45, full drill round with 30 colors. Now you want to look at those colors. They're, they're beautiful, blues and greens. Really nice. I'm happy with this one. I really am. And uh, I will put the link in the description. I will do the inventory. I don't do that on camera anymore because I feel like it's just too boring. You don't want to watch somebody count. So I'll put some, uh, some information in the description of whether all the drills were there or not. Um, put the link, like I said, what else? Hey, if you like my video, take a second and hit like. Um, I really love doing these unboxings. Uh, we have a Facebook group called Fancy Nancy Diamond Painting. You can come join us. We have a lot of fun in there sharing our, our diamond paintings and tips and tricks. And if you have a question, you can ask. It's a group for anybody. Everyone in there is so lovely, um, so sweet and nice. If you have a question, how do I do this? Where do I buy it? Come on in and ask questions all you want. We're happy to help. Um, take a second to and subscribe. And if you tap the little bell, you'll get notified about my, when my videos come out. And uh, thank you again for joining me. I really appreciate it. I'm having a wonderful time and I just love all the people that I'm meeting. And uh, you have a great day. Happy diamond painting. Take care. Bye-bye.